Hello, welcome back. Now, with the election looming, what measures would you take to get the attention of the three party leaders? Well, how about your own billboard campaign? That's exactly what Mum Polly Tommy has done in an attempt to gain support for people with autism. Polly joins me now. Now, looking at that, you, you've got, I have to say, you've got a fantastic figure, a lot of front, as they say. And good for you, good for you. I think it's a great thing to do. I mean, it certainly has opened people's eyes, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. In fact, I saw a billboard on the way over here. That was and quite for weird. a second, my heart went. <laughs> um, but the word autism up there in yeah. lights, people are seeing it. Yeah. That's the main thing. That's what this is about. Um, we've got to we've got to do something about it now. We've got mm. one in 40 boys in this country. It's an awful lot, isn't it? It's a huge it's, amount. It really yeah, it's is. too many, actually. Yeah. And um, one in 125 girls. We really, really need to mm. take this seriously now. So that's, there is a serious issue to this. There is, absolutely. This is all about getting people's attention. Yeah. And I actually think it's a very clever thing to do um, because instantly people go, oh, what's all that about? And then they'll read... You know, the read it's about autism and then hopefully they want to find out a little bit more. Well, that's what we want. And we really do need to get the help to the, the parents and the carers mm. in this country, in the homes. So that's why the boys, I need to clear this up, uh, boys are, my three boys are David Cameron, Nick Clegg and Gordon Brown. <laughs> exactly. So I'm not talking to all everybody's husbands and uh, <laughs> other people out there. Those, those really are the people it's I'm like the, It's like the, the Brad vet where it said, hello, boys. I mean, I think that's very good. Because you're talking six million votes here. That's a lot. Over six million. And we base that on... Um, our population being 60 million in this country and it's right. more so yes you see the thing is autism doesn't just affect the parents we've mm. got siblings we've got aunts and uncles grandparents I spoke to a grandmother the other day who just said to me she can't sleep at night worrying about her grandson mm. she knows all her other grandchildren will grow up and live their life make mistakes the way that yeah. everybody should do but this grandson is so vulnerable mm. what's going to happen to him when the parents are lo no longer around. That's everybody's biggest fear. Yeah. We've really got to prepare for this, and we must find out what is causing this. Nobody, you know, I, I, I get calls from people with Asperger's, which is on the higher yes. end, who, who worry that we're trying to cure autism. I would never want to cure my son now. He's 14 years old. He's a wonderful he is he is. child. Yeah, he is what he is, yeah. and I would never change that. Um, we want these people to be healthy, mm -hmm. and we want to help them and, and keep, use their potential and put, yeah. it, put something back into life and they're so intelligent people with mm. autism we're looking at billy now he <laughs> doesn't look too good at the time but he's a kid they've, you know, he's playing around. they've all got so much to give mm. and to offer and this is what i'm trying to do i really really want these the three boys to yes. actually put autism in their manifesto they've mm. really got to sit up and do something about it you know our, they're going to run our country our country is made up of people like me mm -hmm. and we've got children with autism and really truly they've got to, they've got to look at this so are they listening have you had any feedback yet well to be fair the campaign officially starts today okay so we'll start from today right but they have all had letters mm -hmm. and they've, uh, I've written in the letters exactly what the problems are and on our website parents and people with autism are writing what they want as well so we've yeah. asked them to look at that um, and so far, we have heard back from Gordon Brown's team. Right. Um, and we're looking forward to hearing back from David Cameron and Nick Clegg. And I'm sure they will, they will, um, they will speak to us. Because I think they probably will, I you know. I think they should. I think they probably will. <laughs> but it's interesting what you say about the fact that an awful lot of people think autism only affects young people. And yeah. almost they kind of grow out of it. And of course they don't. They, they just don't. become adults with autism and then middle-aged people with yeah. autism. And, you know, we've got teenagers that need lots of help. I mean, my son's going through puberty now. Um, that takes a lot of support of for him to go through yeah. that. Um, and then you've got the adults, I, the ones that are verbal that I speak to, they are desperate for some support. Mm. They, want, they want help in making friends. They want, and I spoke to a 19-year-old um, young man with a, or, or Asperger's recently. He wants to just be able to go out of his house, but there's nowhere for him to go. He's mm. got one day a week that he's been offered some daycare help. He's got a marvellous brain and his mother's at home yeah. having to look after him when she should be out working knowing that her son is being looked after. Exactly, exactly. It's that sort of peace of mind, isn't yes. it? And it's not rocket science. There are wonderful parents in mm. this country that are setting up brilliant charities. So I want our three boys to look at uh, these little charities around the country and help them and support them because that's where we're going to get the best results. Mm. And also what I think is a really good thing is that this advert hasn't cost you anything at all, it's all donations. Nothing, I know, I'm so grateful. Thank <laughs> you everybody who, who's done that for us. We, you know, yeah. It's for all autism and Asperger's and uh, we've really got to tackle this. Well, I really hope they do listen to you. It's certainly one way of getting their attention and uh, I think more power to you. It's absolutely fantastic and you look amazing. <laughs> I mean, I know that's the least of your worries, but you do look absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. Great to see you. Thank you. Now